Hi everybody, this is Stephen Lammers. I'm the Public Health Response Planner for the Independence Health Department. I'm here to talk about the Community Health Assessment. As part of the Community Health Assessment, we sent out a Community Health Survey. It had over 70 questions with topics touching on a variety of health areas. In 2015, over 12,000 surveys were sent out to Independence households. The goal of this assessment was to form an overall picture of the health and independence, evaluate health department services, make data available for grant writing and other research, and finally as a part of accreditation. Eight issues stood out to us. These eight were selected based on the perceived overall and child public health issues respondents chose on the survey, as well as secondary data. The secondary data was used to compare independence to the county, state, and nation. While many of the factors are interrelated, data shows they lead to higher rates of death and disability for independence residents. I will go through each topic briefly to give some context of what we found in the community health assessment. Child abuse is first. The numbers in the graph were found in the Missouri Information for Community Assessment database. Child abuse is defined as physical, emotional, or sexual abuse or neglect of a child. While over the past 10 years, independents in the state have seen a drop in child abuse, you can see independents had a 27% higher rate of abuse-related injuries in children under 15 than Missouri overall. Domestic violence was a top overall in childhood public health concern among residents. Domestic violence includes any instance of physical or sexual violence, threats of physical or sexual violence, or emotional abuse. This graph relies on data from the Missouri State Highway Patrol Uniform Crime Reporting Database. The rate of domestic violence rose 21% in independence from 2014 to 2015. Independence also had a rate 100% higher than that of Missouri. Drug use was the top overall concern among residents and in the top five for childhood public health concerns. This graph shows the number of emergency room visits related to opioid use and independence. As you can see, the trend of opioid-related hospital visits has rapidly increased in independence, which follows national trends. Mental health ranked in the top five of respondents' overall public health concerns. While there are many measures of mental health, Missouri data, data shows independents having a suicide rate 45% higher than the state as a whole. Missouri Department of Mental Health estimates nearly one in five Missouri adults experience mental illness. The topic of overweight and obesity was a top five overall and childhood public health concern for respondents. Overweight and obesity rates throughout the nation have been increasing over the past several decades. 22 states have obesity rates higher than 30%. In 2014, Missouri's adult obesity rate was 30%. Property maintenance was a top five overall public health concern among respondents in 2013 and 2015 community health surveys. In 2015, over 7,000 property maintenance complaints were received. Teen pregnancy was a top five concern for children among survey respondents. As you can see in the graph, the teen birth rate in independence is declining. However, independence has a higher teen birth rate than the county and state with double the rate of the nation as a whole. Tobacco use is the leading preventable cause of death in the U.S. and accounts for 180,000 deaths annually, or approximately one in five. Survey respondents reported an estimated 18% of independence residents still smoke in some regard. This rate is about the same as the national average. If you have more questions, please check out the full community health assessment at independencemo.org slash health. Look for the publications tab. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.